Hey guys, back with another review. Um, first off, as usual, not sponsored, not paid for by anybody. This is my own stuff that I've bought with my own money. Um, I will be reviewing the Ultra Paradigm 4.5 Road Shoe. Um, I had this a little while. I'll show you what this looks like. There you go. This is a uh, US 10. Um, I'll give you a comparison as well. Uh, this is the older Paradigm 3, so these have done about 500 kilometers, just over 500 kilometers. Um, they're actually wearing, these old ones are actually wearing pretty well. Um, the uppers and that are, I mean, they almost look new. Um, and considering I've been through mud and all kinds of stuff, they, and they're, you know, white, gray kind of colored, they, um, they're actually pretty good. But I mean, look, you know, the bottom on them is seriously bowed out now, and, um, the inner is totally flat. They're giving me pains on my knees um, when I'm running on them. I've noticed the last few times, so um, it is time to get some more. Uh, it, it's ultra. They don't tend to last very long, so you do have to replace them pretty often, but they are cheap. I mean, the ultras are pretty cheap. So that's the old ones. So here's the new ones. Uh, snazzy. Uh, they, they look nice, actually. I think they're, they're quite nice looking, I must say. That's the first positive I would give them. Um, they got this knit top that the old ones didn't used to have. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. Um, I haven't tried them in the rain yet or heavy, heavy water situations. I'm guessing they're going to take a little bit longer to dry um, and probably be a little bit heavier when they're wet, but I don't know if it will be noticeable. They are, um, what, the old shoes are 292 grams. These ones are 318, so you're talking an extra 30 grams or so. Um, maybe 10% heavier, so they are a little bit heavier. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, in terms of the fit, I'm not, not thrilled with the fit. Um, I, they fit okay in terms of the US 10 sizing, but um, I have one foot that's slightly narrower than the other, my right one, um, and they don't have the lace lock that the old ones used to have. They only have the six uh, holes up here. They don't have the extra seventh one, um, which is weird because they have really long laces, like oddly long laces, considering they don't have a lace lock on them. Um, you know, you you end up having to double knot them and then put the loop down the front. Um, I don't, we, I'm sure these laces are old, longer than the old ones. Um, yeah, maybe they're the same, but the old ones have the lace lock, so it just feels like they're, they're not the right length on the old ones. They didn't make them shorter here, which is possibly an oversight. Um, yeah, otherwise the, the fit's not too bad. It's a little bit sloppy in the heel, um, but ultras commonly are, to be honest. Um, I have the Lone Peak, the the old paradigms. I have the Lone Peak Mid. I have the Torin. I have I've had quite a few ultras. Um, they tend to be quite sloppy in the hill. Um, on the road, it's not that much of an issue for me because I'm not turning corners quickly and stuff. Um, so that's fine. I'm not. I, I quite like that skater shoe kind of feel a little bit anyway. So it's not. It's not too bad. Major. The one major difference between these and the old ones is their uh, stability. Or they have this. Uh, what do they call it? Stabi stability pod, <laughs> stability pod. Yeah, they've got like a, a stabilizing kind of mini orthotic kind of slight bit of stability in there where the old ones didn't. Now, I like the sound of this when I bought these because um, I have had a ortho I've had to wear an orthotic in the past, not for too long, just for a few months. Um, but I eventually managed to wean myself off of it um, and. Went back to went back to the flat neutral old paradigms, but these have a little bit of stability. So I thought to myself, you know, it, it's people have people in reviews have said it's a slight slight noticeable orthotic. I'd say it's a little bit more noticeable than that. It's a little bit more than I was expecting having read the reviews. It's okay for me because I used to have an orthotic, so it's probably actually helpful. And the knee pain I've been having recently from wearing my old ones where they've gone flat um, has gone away recently wearing these, which is good. But um, there is a bit of a breaking in period, more than I was expecting. Uh, the first couple of runs I did were, you know, uh, three miles, not even that, two, two three miles. And uh, yeah, my feet were getting tired by the end of it. So there is a bit of a breaking in period. You're going to have to be aware that you want to start easy with these. If you're not used to wearing, if you're coming from something that's completely neutral and you've never worn anything with stability, um, but you are a slight overpronator and you'd like something with a bit of stability, that's fine. These will probably work for you but there is going to be a little bit of a breaking in period, so you might want to bear that in mind. Um, uh, other things I like and don't like, I would say they're 
Well, I'm in New Zealand, but everything's expensive here. But these were significantly more expensive than the other ones. Um, and you're not really getting more shoe for your money. It, potentially they're put together nicer. There's a nicer feel to them and stuff, but it's a shoe. Who cares? You know, they're, for the money, I, I don't think you're really getting much more shoe for your, what you're paying, to be honest. So I'd put, I would put the price in the negatives, um, to be honest. Uh, and they're 30 mil cushion. The old ones are 32, but um, it's slightly it's a slightly harder cushion. Um, which you, you're getting better energy returned, I would say. It's not as mushy feeling as the old ones. So the 30 versus 32 is kind of a, a wash, really. It's it's pretty similar, I would say, in terms of the bounce. Um, the old ones did lose their bounce pretty quickly, which is quite common for ultras, in my experience. Um, but hoping these ones will keep it a little bit longer because it's a slightly, slightly uh, tougher um, ultra ego uh, base they've used there. So yeah um overall would i buy them again probably not i would probably go for a top, topo ultra fly which is what i was tempted to go for um because these are stability if these were not stability and like the old ones and they weren't more expensive then i'd have no problems buying these but these are almost like a semi trainer sort of casual shoe i don't really i'm not thrilled on this knit up but it's, it, it feels nice, it looks nice, I guess, but I don't know how it's going to last. And I, I think they might be a bit heavy when they're wet, but I don't tend to run in the rain too much anyway. So overall, with the fit, the lace, the lace length and everything else, the price, um, they're all right. They're OK. Um, I wouldn't say I'm overjoyed with them. They're not the best shoe I've had, um, but they're all right. I'd give them a, a solid, what we're going to say, six out of ten. Maybe a bit, maybe that's a bit harsh, maybe more like a seven. Six or seven, six and a half. Let's go six and a half. There you are, six and a half, final answer. Um, they're all right. Um, hopefully that will help you a little bit with some uh, first-hand experience with these shoes. Cool, see you again.